I'm Drew Hallier with Spitz and Miller Advantage Insurance. Hi, I'm Jeff Bridges from Bridges Scoreboard Restaurant and Sports Bar. And I'm Al Muskowski with Local 219, and our search for the hottest wings takes us to what I think is one of the best sports bars in the region, Bridges Scoreboard in Griffith. All right, so what do we have in for us today, Jeff? Uh, we have what we call our Tanya Hot Wings, and some of our customers think they're really hot. And want, well, you guys are going to try them and see what you think, and uh, it's our hottest wing that we serve at Bridges. Okay, so these are not spruced up at all. These are just what you are on the menu. Yes. Awesome. And have you had these before? Yes. Okay, well, it's already a good sign if you're going to eat them, because that means they're not crazy. Yeah, well, I'll have a, a couple of them. Okay, good. <laughs> Drew, so welcome back. Yes. The last time you were on this, we were at we were at Provecho. It was almost a year to the day. Is it really, yeah. Ben? Wow. Um, so, any expectations? Have you learned anything? Uh, do they have Carolina Reapers in them? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I, I might be all right. Awesome. Do you have? Uh, do you want to kind of tell people what kind of peppers are in here, or? Um, that's actually our secret recipe. I can't do that. But okay. anyway, I mean, oh, it's uh, people love them and. Like I said, we have a variety of um, wings, and actually today is Monday, and it's our wing special, so they're 60 cents today. Bone in or bonus. Awesome. awesome. So yeah. we do have some rules. Um, you cannot drink until after the bid is over. Um, you got to eat the whole wing. No sauces, which we don't have any right now, which is okay. And you brought a first for the for this uh, bit. You got, uh, what is this, wing buckets. Yeah, wing buckets. it's called a bone bucket. The customers like them, and that way... After you eat your wing, actually, you don't know actually how many you eat. You just throw them in the bucket and they disappear. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, so we'll just go into it. I'll show the camera a little bit here of what we're looking at. Um, so it's got a light breading here, right? Um, mm -hmm. Looks awesome. Smells great. I think we're in for a good showing today. Um, I'm not choking on the smell, so that's a good sign. Um, anything else you want to add before we dive into this? I just uh, hope you guys enjoy them uh, as much as I'm going to. Awesome. All right. All right. So I have found out that these are less hot than the other ones, but uh, you're going to go. Okay. Well, I got to. Cheers. Gotta, here cheers. I go. cheers the wings. There you go. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. There cheers. you go, Drew. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, sorry. All right. Hmm. Hmm. This is good. Mm-hmm. There's one thing I wanted to mention. You have Ozzy Gein coming here. Yes, we do. Um, August 22nd, which is a <coughs> Thursday night, the White Sox um, flamboyant manager will be here from <laughs> 6.30 to 8.30. That's um, Thursday, August 22nd. Ozzy Gein from the White Sox. Mm. I'm not allowed to drink either. Can I? Mm -mm. Not yet. No drink? The rules are very strict. <laughs> All right. Also, um, wow, that is it's getting I'm going. I'm wearing half this on my face. I can feel it dripping it's down my warming as right I. As I said, yeah. We also have um, UFC, and for the UFC fighters out there, Boss Root and the Hall of Fame UFC fighter is going to be here. He will be here on, um, oh, what was that, Saturday, August 10th from 5 to 7. Oh, wow. August 10th. So we got a couple celebrities coming in August here. And we like to do that. We've been here 37 years, Bridges, and we've had a lot of celebrities, including the 1985 Bears Super Bowl champs who went in the Super Bowl in 85. Oh, had wow. a lot of them here. And you just had Andre Dawson, right? Yeah. We had Andre Dawson here a couple weeks ago, the Hawk, the Hall of Famer from the Cubbies. And just Saturday, uh, just happened to pop in and have a uh, sandwich and a drink, Kurt Becker from the 85 Bears. Was no way. Yeah. That's cool. Well, Pretty you've cool, got, yeah. like, now that you've been here for 30 years, it feels like you've got quite a legacy going on. And so that's really awesome to be able to kind of capitalize on that. I did see the Cody Hosey party. That was awesome. Boy, a kid from Griffith, Indiana. Um, Can you see my sweat? And I still <laughs> believe, I looked it up, but I think he's the only, only, um, baseball player from Griffith, or I'm sorry, from Northwest Indiana that was the number one draft pick. And that going back to the days of, you know, what, you got Stoddard, you had Kenny Lofton, mm -hmm. um, Hal, Moore. Um, Hal Morris, uh, uh, Daryl Chaney, mm -hmm. guys like that, and they were never drafted in their first round. So he was drafted in the first round by the Dodgers. We had a draft party here. It was kind of cool. The general manager of the Dodgers called, and he was on the phone. In the, in the hallway there by the office, and I was I got to be one of the first ones to find out he was going to the Dodgers besides the Dodgers. That's so awesome. It was pretty cool, and the fans went nuts, the Griffith people. And Griffith's a tight fit community. Everybody's great here in town, and we got a great, we, we do have a great town here, and people running our board and everything else. And the people, uh, the community is very friendly and nice, and everybody's, you know, 
good, good time. Awesome. And Cody and his parents couldn't be nicer people and his family. Oh, they're awesome. Um, yeah. And so while we're doing that, let's give a shout out to Zach Plezak and uh, who's playing for Cleveland right now from yes. Crown Point Kid. Mikey Brasso, who got called up to right. Tampa Bay. So all that stuff. The region's really making us proud. They are. Baseball-wise. Um, Drew, how you feeling? You got – I looked – just for the I record, I looked away for five seconds. I looked back, and Drew looks like he just played three quarters of a basketball game. I'm a sweater. You're doing good. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. He's doing good. You, uh, you look like you're in rough At shape. At least we're not doing this outside. <laughs> uh, speaking of the kid from Crown Point, we had a bunch of fans come in from Crown Point because we have the Major League Baseball package, so we get all the games, and we had a bunch of people come in to watch him pitch one night. He did a great job. Awesome. Great job, yeah. I think it's, it was his debut against Giolito. Yep. That was awesome. Um, so, uh, Drew, what do you think? So we gotta, we're trying to do two scores now. We try to do okay. a heat and a tasteability. And we should probably have a sweat score at this point. How much is it making you sweat? <laughs> Bring because it on. I feel like you're a nine and a half right now. Uh, I'd say it's a solid eight. <laughs> yeah, solid eight on the sweat. Uh, flavors, it's like a, it's a very true buffalo flavor. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, eatability for sure, like a, a nine, nine and a half for sure. Oh yeah, solid. I can crush these. Usually yeah. we go, go to um, but this one is like the taste is really great. I'll so sweat the whole time, but they're, but they're good. So what about heat? Where are you um, going with heat? Heat, I'm going to say, I'm going to say a six and a half. Okay. Yeah. I think that's about right. Jeff, what do you think? Eatability and, uh, and, and heat. Um, yeah, we're not, I'm sure there's wings out there that are, you can only eat a couple. Well, some guys can eat a whole thing like that and it can be like twice as hot as these, you know, and guys like that. Oh yeah. But I think, you know, it's our hottest wing, so. I think they're hot, and you guys have had hotter, I'm sure, but um, I mean, you know, probably seven, seven on the heat. You know, he's sweating, so that's an eight or nine. Oh, right for now. sure, easy. But anyway, the people that want the real, that kind of hot flavor, that's the wings you want to have when you have here, the Tanya hot wings. That's the hottest ones we do have, yeah. Awesome. Why are they called Tanya? I was going to ask. Um, actually, we had a um, lady come in and that, that uh, had it. Actually, one of those, we have some peppers in there, okay? Actually, the jalapenos I can see you see. Them a little yeah, bit. That's yeah there you go. That's, that's why they're called Tanya. Um, okay. There was a lady that did actually, we actually added that to the recipe because she wanted them added and she loved our wings that, that, back then, and that's why we named them Tanya Hot back when we did. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So I'll Solid throw my wings. score out there. Yeah, great wing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say about a six and a half on heat. Um, eatability, I think it's a nine and a half, ten. I could crush 20 of these and uh, feel pretty good about it. Add a little ranch and stuff to that extent too. It'll be it'd be, be easier. I think you can really crush them. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's great. Um, anything else you want to plug before we sign off outside of uh, to Mondays or 60 cent wings? Yes, we also have family bingo. You got to come in a chance to play, bring your kids and play family bingo. Uh, Wednesday, we have every Wednesday we have trivia that starts at uh, seven o'clock. We have um, Thursday's also bar bingo. That's at six o'clock. You got a chance to win money or tickets to the sock. We had a, a person win a Harley here. No about, way. Yeah, about six months ago. Brand new Harley out of here playing bar bingo. Awesome. So that's Mondays and Thursdays. Then on the weekends, check our Facebook page to see what's going on. If we have live band entertainment, acoustics, or something like that. And um, anybody that likes, we're known for Lake Perch. If anybody didn't know that, we are known for Lake Perch. We got really good Lake Perch here. And we have a full slate menu. So we also have the Sunday NFL ticket for all your uh, football fans coming up, you know. For the football, college football, we have the package and we have the NFL package. Well, that's a great cheat sheet. I don't know if you want to get in on that. That's amazing. There's a lot of there. Uh, Drew, uh, anything any, any, you want to leave with? Uh, is there a shower? Sorry. <laughs> There's a bathroom right there. <laughs> Where can they find you, Drew? I'm going to go back to work. Uh, I'm actually just around the corner. Uh, Spitz and Miller Advantage. Awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, my good friend Rich Miller. He's his family's owned that forever. They've been they've been actually in town a lot, lot longer than Bridges have right down the street. Really? Here. So yeah, a lot of family businesses here in town. So well, you're a White Sox fan, right? Oh, oh diehard. Yeah. Yeah. So but, I can always root for that. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot. There's not very many of us. But anymore. I don't ditch the Cub fans. I like Cub fans. I really do. A lot of I Sox do. fans don't like. I like Cub fans. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. not completely. My wife's a Cub fan, and it's uh, like I've made her. We've gotten two major arguments in our in our uh, like span of our relationship, and both have been Sox Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> there may or may not have been alcohol involved. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. Again, come check out Bridges Scoreboard. Go check out uh, Spitz and Miller, Drew Hallier. He's uh, lighting up the square around Crown Point all the time. And he's over in Griffith, so check that out. Thanks for following us. If you do have any uh, suggestions or comments of the next place you want us to go, feel free to put those in the comments below, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks.